a heartbreaking and fatal diagnosis, missing the induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, a future in filmmaking that went unfulfilled. Keep watching for the inside story of Beastie Boy Adam Yauch's tragic death. The Beastie Boys are now one of the most celebrated names in the history of hip-hop, and the fact that their music has been, since the 1980s, some of the most genre-bending of the period only adds to their greatness. According to Goldmine Magazine, the fact that their fans included everyone from purest hip-hop heads, punks, rockers, and more is a testament to their collective vision and inventiveness. Their influence can be heard in the music of dozens of cutting-edge acts today. The first act to be signed to the legendary Def Jam label where they worked with trailblazing producer Rick Rubin, the Beastie Boys achieved the feat of releasing seven platinum-selling albums between 1986 and 2004. The Beasties sold a total of 20 million records, starting with the international hit License to Ill, the first rap album to hit the top of the Billboard Hot 100. After starting out performing hardcore punk in 1981, the group recorded a comedy rap tune which convinced them to start taking hip-hop seriously as a musical direction. The Beastie Boys were still breaking boundaries well into the 21st century, releasing the Grammy Award-winning all-instrumental album The Mix-Up in 2007. In 2006, they released the concert film Awesome, I Shot That. The director was listed as Nathaniel Hornblower a name that was actually a pseudonym of Beastie Boys founding member Adam MCA Yauch, whose death in 2012 brought an end to the much-loved group. Along with Michael Mike D. Diamond and Adam Ad-Rock Horowitz, Adam Yauch helped transform an otherwise anonymous hardcore punk outfit into one of the most enduring hip-hop acts of all time. They became something of an icon thanks to Yauch's distinctive voice and delivery and his appearances in some of Beastie Boys' most famous music videos such as Sabotage and Intergalactic. In 2009, Yauk was diagnosed with salivary gland cancer. About, well, about two months ago, I started feeling this little, like, lump in my throat. The rapper, who was a Buddhist, reacted calmly to the news and announced in a press release from the group, This is something that, that's very treatable. In addition to courses of radiotherapy, Yauk converted to a vegan diet and used traditional Tibetan medicine, which he had learned about during a three-day session with the Dalai Lama. The group canceled the release of their upcoming album as well as a slew of tour dates to aid Yauk in his recovery. In 2011, it was reported in a number of news outlets that Yauk had been given the all clear. Yauk, however, was forced to release a statement saying the rumors were false. Yauk said in the statement, Reports of my being totally cancer-free are exaggerated. In April 2012, Beastie Boys were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but Yauk was too sick to attend. Yauk died on May 2, 2012, just weeks after his induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, at the tragic age of 47. His cause of death was given as complications arising from cancer of the salivary gland. It was a tragic end for a beloved figure who had remained optimistic about his health and potential recovery throughout his three-year ordeal, and whose career showed no sign of slowing. The year before his death, Yauk had directed his debut feature film, gunning for that number one spot and had just launched his own production company with the hope of financing deserving independent films. Famous fans of the influential rapper were quick to pay tribute. MTV reported that comedian Ben Stiller tweeted in recognition of Yauk's integrity as an artist, while the usually far from humble rap superstar Eminem discussed in an interview with MTV the undoubted debt he personally owned to Yauk. Actor Jonah Hill tweeted, I'm filled with so much sorrow to hear about the world losing Adam Yao. He was such a beautiful person and artist. My heart is broken. Additionally, Radiohead frontman Tom York made a point of remembering Yauk's involvement in the Tibetan independence movement. Fellow Beasties Ad Rock and Mike D publicly stated that the Beastie Boy's name would no longer be used after MCA's death, though they would continue to work together in the future.